Hi, my name is Penny Adler and I am a soap artisan on the 444 farm where we have goats that we use to make in our soap. And I started with bar soap and, and ventured into a little bit of liquid soap but found out my love is cream soap. And that is what I applied for the grant for. Um, I made cream soap and I had a failure where it separated and at that point I wanted, I didn't know what caused the failure and so part of this grant was to figure out how um, to, to reduce my risk of that happening, happening again. Um, so the grant is for um, creating sound um, or good manufacturing practices. Um, they're not any rules or legislated to us, they're just sound manufacturing practices that a, um, a manufacturer will follow and that allows the customer to feel comfortable that they're getting a good and consistent product every time. So the cream soaps is um, different from bar soaps and it's different from liquid soaps. It's kind of a combination that it uses lye that um, each of them uses, um, but what it does is it adds a super cream and um, my, these cream soaps will be in a um, jar instead of a bar or instead of a, a, a pump and the um, cream soaps have a lather that just um, I compare the lather to somewhere between like a pudding and whipped cream. It is just this wonderful, luscious lather. It's not real bubbly, it's creamy, and it, it's just, um, it makes you feel good during the whole experience of using it, and it just is fabulous. I, in the past, I've done um, some what they call um, product testing at the, at the point of manufacturing, which basically says that at the point that I was done making the product, that it was free from bacteria. Um, this grant is going to allow me to do um, challenge, product challenge testing, and that um, basically says you've added a preservative. Is that preservative the right preservative? Is it going to do its job? And so it will actually, they will um, try and make the product fail um, by adding different uh, bacterias or whatever to it. And that um, product testing is $500 uh, a piece. And so that was just a huge thing in order to do as much product um, challenge testing as I wanted to do that it'll help with that.